The Michigan Wolverines were supposed to begin NCAA tournament play today. Instead, they had to pack up all their equipment and take a charter flight home. Not the way they wanted to end the season. When I talked to the Michigan Wolverines in early January, they had high hopes for this season. I think we're trying to win a national title. Uh, I think every college team is, but uh, I think we have a definitely have a special group. Our goal is to, to win a national championship. We feel like we have the, the team to do it here. The Mays and Blue were about to try and prove it when the NCAA notified them that they would not be allowed to participate due to a positive COVID-19 test result within UM's Tier 1 testing group. It was obviously a shock to everyone within Michigan and outside. Ben Holden is an ESPN broadcaster in the Colorado region. They had not had a problem since July the 7th, so the reaction is you feel for the players, you feel for the coaches. The university says the team has been in daily testing protocol since the conclusion of the Big Ten tournament last week. Michigan head coach Mel Pearson released a statement reading in part, I'm devastated for these players. These student athletes have done a wonderful job all year of making sacrifices to get to this point of the year. It's unfortunate. I don't completely understand the final decision, but I have to respect it. It's a tough pill to swallow considering Michigan, the two seed and the eighth team in this country could have done some damage in the tournament. Their team to me had more offensive skill than any team in the country that I saw. The game was considered a no contest, so now Minnesota Duluth advances. This happened in another game. Notre Dame had to withdraw, and now there are just 14 teams left in the tournament. Bernie, back to you.